Hey everyone, uh, welcome to World Science X. I'm Tony. I'm Jamal. Hope everyone enjoyed last week's video. Uh, this week's video, uh, we're gonna go in depth on some technical analysis tutorials. And Tesla, um, we're gonna go through just a tutorial on how to go through technical analysis, how to set up a chart and how we can use certain uh, studies to see how a certain stock is gonna move over the next couple weeks. This is more for swing trading. Um, these are some of the tactics that I use um, to find stocks that have potential moves either to the upside or downside. And we're going to walk you through how I set up my technical analysis and also how Tony sets up his technical analysis. Yep. And make sure before we get into the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and then let's get to the video. So we're going to start with Tesla. Tesla is a stock that has um, a lot of nice um, patterns and technical analysis, and it typically plays out um, just because a lot of traders trade Tesla. So um, you want to trade a stock that has other people also watching. So when a technical move is setting up, traders take advantage and it can go your way. Um, to, so to start with some of the studies that I typically add on a chart, um, you want to go into the studies tab and you want to go into edit studies. Um, the first study we're going to add is the um, MACD. What does MACD stand for? So uh, Tony, MACD is more of a momentum um, indicator tells us uh, which kind of momentum is playing out in the stock, whether it's more selling or buying pressure. And when you look at some of the stuff that once this shows up, we can use the uh, crossing of the different lines as a good way of either going more bullish or bearish on a stock. Um, the next one I want to add is the RSI. So the RSI tells us how much a stock is oversold or overbought. And you'll see, Tony, like it's, it's a useful uh, study to add just to, you know, just to help us out when a stock gets way too oversold. Um, that typically tells us it's a good deal to pick, to pick it up off the lows. Um, we also want to add a couple moving averages, and this is going to be the simple moving average. Um, we're going to add three of them. So make sure you click this three times. The first one, we're going to go into the settings wheel. Um, we're going to do the 20 day moving average. Okay. And then the next one's going to be the 50 day moving average. And then finally the 100, 100 day moving average. Yeah, but like, we're just curious, like, is there some, like, these numbers, like 50, 100, like, what's the logic behind picking those out? Like, where, where would where'd you get those numbers from? Is that just a number based on experience, just a rule of thumb? Yeah, so this is more of a rule of thumb. Uh, most traders and most technical analysts, um, they use these three values. Um, you can either go with uh, 60, 180 days, but that's more like long term trading. But if you're looking more of, if you're looking to trade a stock for a couple weeks, uh, I feel that these moving averages are the best way to do so. Um, and the support on the 100 day, 50 day and 20 days is very strong. And you'll see once we get into the chart. Now, when you set up these three moving averages, you also want to give each one a separate color. So we can go into here and maybe for the 50 day, I'm going to set it as red and then for the 100 day i'm going to give it a green color um so no, now that everything's set up we press ok and you can see uh you can see how all the studies line up i want to change this macd some people use this macd uh it tells them like the overall trend um, so this is one that you can use, but I also uh, would highly advise on using this other MACD, which which I like even more, which is this first one. And it shows us 
the the lines and the crossovers and i think that's what's valuable for us is we want to take advantage of when the blue line crosses the kind of yellowish line because that tells us there's a bullish move on the way so now that we have everything set up um, we have the macd at the bottom we have the rsi for the rsi anytime that the rsi goes above 70 um, and it's kind of giving us a red color on the line this tells us that the stock is overbought so this would not be a good position to enter the stock um, and then when it's light blue and it's below the 30 level, this is a oversold, oversold in indicator. And this would be a good time to buy. And you can see it lines up. Um, this is when Tesla was at its lows at, um, back in March 8th. And once we got to that oversold area, we bounced off. Um, and then looking at the chart, so the blue, the green lines, the 100-day moving average, um, anytime we've kind of come across the 100-day, um, we've bounced off. So we can see that here, like we got close to it, we bounced off. Um, here we found support again, we bounced off. We broke through the 100-day and that's why there was this nasty sell-off. But then we snapped back up and... Um, closed above the 100-day moving average. Right now, you can see we're trading right below the 100-day moving average, which is a bearish setup for Tesla. Um, but there's a couple technical factors that might, you know, sh either tell us Tesla's going to move in one of two ways. Either it's going to cross this 100-day moving average and start setting like higher highs, or it's going to fail and we can expect some more downside. So that's where technical analysis can help us out. Now, once we have this blank canvas, Tony, we want to start setting up some key resistance and support levels. And the way I do so is I go into this tab and I go to the price level and I just bring up, you know, anytime the stock has moved, you know, really drastically from a certain level. So we can start with this $500 level. Um, we had a major rejection back in, um, September 1st off the $500 level and we came back to the 50 level 50 day moving average we found some support and we bounced um, back when we cross you can see here at this level Tony when we crossed the $500 level we really didn't look back we kept making higher highs um, I assume a lot of shorts entered Tesla at 500 and this was more of a short squeeze a lot of short covering once we got past 500 and we've been riding the 20 day moving average ever since the 500 dollar level to a high of 900 so we can say that 900 is a very key resistance level um, and we can set that up so a move past 900 will probably trigger another event like the $500 level and we can expect some major upside once we get past 900. Now to, to see what levels we currently are resisting, um, you can see over the last couple days, a couple weeks, um, we've been resisting the $700 level, Tony. Um, we, you know, we came to it here, we fell and really had a nasty sell-off. We tried getting past 700. They brought us back down. So $700 has been a very, um, very critical level. And also, if you think about 700, it's between the 900 and 500 supports. So 700 is a very key level for Tesla. Uh, right now, we're having trouble staying above 700. Um, and that's a level I want to watch for a move above it so now we have our setup right tony we have the 500 dollars support we have the 700 level which is a key level and we also have that 900 dollars level um right now if we want to look at just the price movement over the past couple days uh we'll go to this lower level at 540 which tesla um hit at um uh, its most oversold point on march 5th 
we're just going to find the trend line of support that we've bounced off of. So as you can see here, um, we've kind of had this support level all the way up and we've had this resistance at the top. So pretty much we've been having higher lows, but we've had, we've been having a very limited, um, high at 700. So my expectations for Tesla is we're probably going to try to retest this support one more time. Um, a rule of thumb I've, I've over the past couple years of trading, I've noticed that su patterns typically, um, move in threes. So to validate a pattern, we're always going to look for a move to the trend line for three times. So right now, Tesla's putting in a flag on the daily chart. We can see this small flag and we're holding the 20 day moving average. So if we can get some buyers stepping in next week, I expect us to break past this flag and we can finally get some momentum um, to get past the $700 level. The reason so is one of two things. The MACD is becoming more bullish and the way we analyze the MACD is anytime these lines are moving above this pink uh, level, this is a bullish movement. Right now we're in a bearish kind of level because it's underneath the pink line. So we have a lot of potential with Tesla. That's a nice stock I have some nice technical analysis on. Um, a, a fail below this trend line will be bad for Tesla. We can expect Tesla to break this and probably head towards 500. So we want to make sure, you know, these levels hold up. Um, a break above the 700 will have us in the clear. And that's pretty much it for Tesla, Tony. Um, technical analysis, you know, they don't always play out, especially with the market at all time highs. But it's a way of us limiting our risk and just analyzing stocks from their technical patterns and it can help us identify future stuff that's going to happen based on current and past events all right everyone uh, we hope you like this week's video we went through like how to set up technical analysis on thinkorswim and um just make sure you watch tesla over the next couple days with the market um at all-time high it's kind of you know it's it's it can go one of two ways we can reject and form a double top or if we break through that market um, uh, all time high and move to all time highs. Tesla's probably going to rally along with the tech sector. And uh, I'm just going to closely pretty much like walk monitor my ETFs and do the dollar cost averaging as usual. Nice. And uh, with that, we want to wish you guys a happy weekend and we'll see you next week. Yep. And if you want to see us analyze another stock, let us know, leave a comment um, and some feedback, and we'll see you guys next week. Peace.